This is a story about generosity, the story of Brings the Deer. Long, long ago, it is said, there was a very hard winter when the people lived in the North Country. Many people died because there was no food. So the council of all men decided to send two of their best young hunters into the forest to the south. One cold dawn, the two hunters headed into the forest. It was thick and dark. They knew that the hopes of their people walked with them, for they prayed for courage and strength and skill. Each day they faced the cold and moved deeper and deeper into the great forest. After many days they saw the tracks of deer, but they had very little food and they were weak and exhausted. That night as they rested and warmed themselves by their fire, the hunters spoke of what to do. Our relatives are hungry, said Seize the Bear. We must go on. Left Hand agreed. We must hunt until we find something or until we no longer have the strength to walk. The next day they ate the last of their food. They could feel their strength leaving them a little at a time. They began to stumble and Left Hand fell into a snow-filled gully. It took all of Seize the Bear's strength to pull him out. Suddenly there was a great crashing and a large deer with great forked antlers fell into the same gully onto its back. It struggled and struggled to turn over. The hunters moved as swiftly as they could but the coal had numbed their fingers and they had difficulty placing their arrows on the bowstrings. Just as the great deer was nearly out of the gully, two arrows flew straight and the deer fell, mortally wounded. That night the hunters feasted on a deer's heart and their strength began to return. The next day they made drag poles to pull the carcass home to feed their hungry relatives. On the first night toward home, Seize the Bear sat on guard by the fire. A skinny coyote appeared in the firelight and spoke. It has been a hard winter, coyote said. My family is hungry. If you are kind, you would give us some of your meat. Seize the Bear woke Left Hand, who also saw the coyote. You are great hunters, the coyote said. I beg for your kindness. We cannot help her, sniffed Left Hand. We must take this meat home to our relatives. We can share a little of it, said Seize the Bear. He sliced off a strip of meat and tossed it to the coyote. Listen at night, she said. My family will sing of our gratefulness. That was a foolish thing to do, said Left Hand. Two days later, as they rested, a flock of magpies came to them. We are hungry, said the head magpie. It is winter, Left Hand growled. It is a time of hunger. We are hungry, said the magpie. Seize the bear cut strips from the meat and tossed them to the magpies. You are kind, said the magpie. Hereafter, if you do not see us or hear us, it will be a sign of hard times. If there is to be plenty, we will tell you. That was a foolish thing to do, said Left Hand. They traveled as far as they could each day. Dragging the loaded poles across snow was not easy. One afternoon, a gray form came to the trees. It was a large wolf with a badly injured foot. If you are here to ask for meat, we cannot give you any, shouted Left Hand. I have hurt my foot, said Wolf. I can find the deer, but I cannot chase them. My family is hungry. Our story is sad as well, said Left Hand. Our people have not eaten for many, many days. We have just enough to share, said Seize the Bear. He sliced off a chunk of meat and tossed it to the wolf. I am grateful, said Wolf. You shall have my skill as a hunter. Left Hand was angry. You have given away most of our meat. What will we tell our people? I will tell them the truth, replied Seize the Bear. The old ones taught us it is good to share. It was a fox who came the next night while Left Hand was asleep. I have never seen such a hard winter, said Fox. The snow is so deep, the rabbits run on top. I sink in. Seize the bear sliced off some succulent meat and tossed it to the fox. I think there is enough to share, he whispered. I am grateful, said Fox. My people are skilled at hiding, and so shall you be. In the morning, Left Hand could see that more of the meat was gone. 
I cannot travel with you any longer, he said. You have given away most of our meat. There is enough, insisted Seize the Bear. I am returning to our lodges alone, shouted Left Hand. I must tell the old men what you have done. Left Hand departed angrily, and Seize the Bear was left to struggle with the deer meat. The next morning he came across a hawk with an injured wing. I fought with the short-tailed cat, he said. Now I cannot fly until my wing is strong again. I have not eaten in many days. Seize the bear gave the hawk a chunk of deer meat. I am grateful, said hawk. Follow this forest south until you come to the lake country. The hunting there is very good. The forests are filled with deer, and you can catch fish in the lakes. Seize the bear finally reached his people's lodges. He hid what was left of the deer in a hollow tree. The old men leaders were waiting for him. Now it is time for you to speak your story, they said. Seize the bear did not hold back the truth. He told everything as it had happened. We have brought back meat. It will make us strong enough to travel south. The hawk told me that the hunting in the lake country is very good. With his head hanging, Seize the bear led the old man to where the meat was hidden. Left hand grabbed the deer's leg and pulled. It was very heavy, so he asked for help. Four young men pulled the deer from the tree, and to everyone's surprise, it was whole. As the men stood around the carcass, a ghostly white deer appeared with large forked antlers. I am the deer who live in a forest, it said. Our flesh will give you strength. We ask in return that you show your gratefulness for the gift of our life. And the great white deer disappeared. That night there was a great feast with more than enough meat for everyone and some to save as well. Seize the bear was honored and given the new name of Brings the Deer. He hunted again and returned with another deer and as the great white deer had asked, he spoke a word of thanksgiving. The people traveled south and there they found a land of plenty, as the hawk had said. Brings the Deer became the most skillful hunter the people had ever seen. It seemed as though he had powers and abilities that no other man had. Left Hand had a difficult life. He was nearly killed by a bear, and strange things seemed to happen to him more than anyone. His bow seemed to break quite often during a hunt. It was said of Left Hand that he did not smile often. Many men hunted with Brings the Deer and brought their sons to learn his skills. There was one small ritual he taught everyone. Each time a deer was killed in a hunt, he paused to lay down a bundle of sage as an offering. To this day, Lakota hunters pause to speak a word of thanksgiving for the generosity of the deer. <laughs>